Back here on Living 808, Hawaii's Kitchen is on the road at Minori Craft Japanese Tavern. We're with Chef Leland, and he's cooked up a feast. Thank you so much for allowing us back in the kitchen. And now out here, uh, you said the gyoza is the winner. Yes. You were saying a little bit about what makes it so special in the back, but we were actually watching her put it together. It, it really is an art, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real tedious art, but in the end of the day, it tastes pretty great. Customers are happy. I saw a lot of this. Tell me about this fish again. This is our saba, or mackerel, from Japan. We butterfly it open, pre-cook it a little to add the seasoning, make sure the seasoning goes all the way through the meat, and then we finish it on the charcoal grill. And, and you're doing something for lunch and dinner with this particular yes. dish. So lunchtime, we have a teishoku-style box. That, we can have one choice or two choice. Of course, lunchtime is a little smaller, so we do half portion. Dinner time, we do a whole. I have to admit, I, I don't, I've never tried it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try a piece here. Um, but the flavor of the charcoal grill, that's why, I mean, that's why you bring it from Japan, right? Yes. And so, um, yeah, that's good. And so the flavor just sits in it until you're ready to cook it. That is really, really good. Okay, uh, what's in the gyoza again? A little bit of chicken and pork meat have a lot of vegetables and a lot of seasonings. And then you crisp the bottom part of it. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This is the best gyoza I've ever had. Thank you, thank you. Let's tell everybody about the tofu, because this is special. Okay, we get, we get our um, soy milk from Aloha Tofu Company. It's a premium soy milk that we use. Plus, we also use nigari. That's to what makes it set. And we use that from the Big Island. Uh, it comes with a little bit of garnishes, grated ginger, green onion, and a suyu sauce. But I guess tasting it plain would be the real taste test, yeah? Yes. And so Minori Craft Japanese Tavern has their own tofu, and you're doing it. How long does it take to make something like this? It takes about 30 minutes yeah. for a batch. And it tastes fresh. It doesn't taste like it's been sitting on a shelf or in a, in a refrigerator. Yeah. That's really good. That's real. And I'm not even trying it with the other stuff. Okay, and then the last the last thing, one of the things you said was uh, really popular was the nabe. Yes. And um, we saw that go in from the refrigerator to the, the pot. It has now melted. Uh, anything particularly special about the broth? Or um, The broth is loaded with a lot of collagen. Collagen is supposed to be helpful for your face. Mm -hmm. So our name is Bijin Nabe, which is beautifying pot. With all the collagen that you eat, it's supposed to help, you know, with facial and... Just kind of smooth things yeah. out. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you're, you're talking about uh, sourcing local. Yes. Tell me about the mixture of so stuff. Our vegetables here. from Whole Farms, we purchase kale, okra, watermelon, radish. They have an assortment of cherry tomatoes. So I've never seen that go in a hot pot before. It's a little different, but, yeah. you know, it works. A lot of our customers enjoy it. You know, we also have a few other ingredients. We use um, aburage, mm -hmm. which is the tofu skin. Yep. And we add that in. We're working with Whole Farms, and whatever they can get us that is the freshest and the best looking, then we'll change out onto our salad bar. The grand opening was just in February. Yes. Uh, and it's sky's the limit from here, huh? Yes. Are you going to be changing anything on the menu, or are you uh, just going to be perfect yeah, perfecting we're, it? We're actually trying to perfect it right now, and we're working on adding a few more dishes. You know, izakaya style, you're supposed to have a lot of dishes. So we're gonna add more and more as time passes. Minori Craft Japanese Tavern, right on Kalakawa Avenue. Stop in, try one of their many delicious dishes, or just come say hi to Chef Leland. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Right there in Kalakaua, just before Kapiolani, they have parking out in front, uh, but they also validate two hours at across the street, which is right across the street, Century Center. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so there's tons of parking. It's really convenient, mm -hmm. and the food is perfect. You need two hours to really just you know, have a leisurely meal there. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, because they're, you know, and when I went to go eat dinner there, uh, it's, you know, you take your time. Yeah. But... <laughs> I tell you, it, really, time it really didn't take that much time to eat it. It's so good. You're just constantly like... All right, now you're just rubbing it in. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys got to try it. All right. Thanks for having us out there. Coming up, we're going to...